Disclaimer, martial arts training could be dangerous. Training the techniques or exercises in this video may have the possibility of you getting injured, such as your ankle, knee, hip, belly button, or head may explode, or you may spontaneously combust into a great ball of fire. But honestly, we are training in the martial arts not basket weaving. Injuries can occur, but if trained safely, great things can happen. Welcome to CFS, Championship Fighting System. My name is Roger Grimes. I'm Paul. And today we're going to do a technique that I call Attacking Warrior. Mark Miller, my instructor, he would have us do this sidekick, and you call it Attacking Sidekick. So basically it would be here, stance, I cannot reach Paul, so what I'm going to do is lift, slide, and I'm gaining some distance with that. So that's great if I'm bouncing, and then I pop right there in there and make it sound like I really hit him. I just slap him with that foot. Yeah. All right, so the idea with that was attacking sidekick. But we would always throw a back face reverse punch, so I decided to put a name to it. This works great. I used this in tournaments before. There was a tournament where I wanted to do one, I, I call it attacking war, or not attacking warrior, but the attacking meltdown, which I mix meltdown and attacking warrior together. And I wanted to do just that in the tournament. Couldn't really get past the sidekick. They kept saying break. They didn't always call a point. But they seen it was so fast with it because I was, I had a plan and I just wanted to execute. I would just come right out aggressively. We start out, they said fight. <gasps> and then I went to do the rest, and they said break. I was like, it was very difficult for me to throw a back fist, Mark, let alone the reverse punch or the roundhouse with the other leg. But yeah, this is a great technique. So now, if this doesn't work, you still got here. So here's the nice thing about it. We're in the fight stance. The way you're going to do it with the side kick, we want to be in the fighting horse to make it easier. You could do it from here, but then it takes a little longer. To get that leg there. Here is nice. Now you can come in, leg up. So you here, slide, left hand, right punch. So I'm gonna do it with Paul. So Paul's in the stance. I'm in this stance. It doesn't matter which side he's on. It could be in this stance and still get this to work. But here's the nice thing about it. Come here. Oh, oh! You gotta make the noise. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Very well. I'm gonna be this side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Obviously, you can make adjustments. If I'm here, I might be both up here. One here, we go to like this. Both. Another one there. So it's a cool technique on this by itself. So I'm gonna go slow with it here. Fight, fighting. Stance. I'm here. Boom! I just gained the distance. Right. There's the back knuckle. There's that reverse punch, high or low, doesn't matter. But here's the charm of the technique, keeping your arm up. As I put my foot down, hand shoots right out. A lot of people will try to kick and their arm drops. Well then if you go to try to throw the back fist, they're already ready for that. Mm -hmm. they, woo, okay, I'm ready. The charm of this is it's a chain reaction. You want to tie these together. So that's one way we could do this. Another way he could be coming at me. So I'm here, I don't do the lunge. I just kick, then I step off. Now if I kick and he's pushing too hard, I'm just gonna have to walk out of there. Let's just be real here, it's not all gonna work out, fine. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna all be perfect. But the side kick, boom, boom, he comes at me a little bit. Then I come one, two. So if I was able to stuff him for a moment, mm -hmm. now I'm able to step off to the side. 
and fire those strikes. I've done this so much. How many times have I kicked you? A lot. With a side kick, usually, or a back kick. Yeah, stopped my heart a couple yeah. weeks ago. <laughs> the pain didn't wear off for like 10 days. <laughs> no. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't hurt. Yeah. Right, so the nice thing here is I can sidestep and still get it. Come at me fast, right? I'm here, and then if that, okay, he came too fast. That wasn't going to be sensible, was it? All right, come at me again. I'm side kick. Oh, oh. So now it's a delay. If I'm going in here, I can step off. Now that's where the delay comes. So you can play with the timing on this, but this usually works best when I'm coming right here to here. But poo poo happens, and you have to adjust. And he's being nice. He's hitting me up here in the hip. If he was hitting yeah. me here in the midsection or the ribs, I'm going to be double over. Yeah, so I, I don't want to keep popping you with that right now. All right. Well, wait, let's say for sparring. All right, there's another way I do this. Okay, now this time I'm on more of a normal fighting stance, or it could be called a neutral bow also. So I'm here. Now at this point, I could throw the side kick from there, yeah. But right now I'm gonna show you, we're gonna throw the roundhouse kick or the wheel kick. So from here, I can top of the foot, ball of the foot, doesn't matter. I can go to the leg, back fist punch, I can come in here, leg, now for me to throw this to the head and come down, not gonna work. it's not going to be great to do it that way unless you have a phenomenal stretch where you can stand straight up and do this. Yeah. But from here, I can yeah. come right down. I'm not leaning. If you guys have watched me long enough, you know how my stretch isn't all that great. But I can pop the head or kick to the head because I'm not leaning. Right. And it's deceptive. Go to punch me in the head. I'm out of the way, there's a kick right to the face or the back of the head, whatever I'm doing, you know? All right, so let's do this fighting stance. Here we are. Now this time I'm hitting you. I want not to lunge. This time we're close enough. As soon as we come to the point to where you can touch hands, see this, I lift, adjust, right. one, two. Hopefully that kick will bring that arm down. If it doesn't, this could be a pull down there's the punch. I guess that poo-poo happens. Adjust. All right, let's do this in the air here. Shift with the round. One, two. You can use the ball of the foot, two. Now let's go with the other side. Get here. All right, Paul, here we are. So at this point, I'll hit Paul right there into the, into the leg. One, two. Okay. Say you step out the side to go to reverse punch me, right? No, I'm telling you reverse punch, that's a bad fist. Take this one, step in here. We all get goofy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. All right, step with yeah, this one to there. Right. And then boom. So sometimes you might go, mm -hmm. try to get it outside of me, right? So I can hit the body there, or I could turn it to the sidekick. Now go. <laughs> that would be better, wouldn't it? So now I'm stuck in my mind, I want to do this, but he stepped over. So now he adjusted, so I had to adjust, mm -hmm. and we can still stick with the same realm of, you got the side, you got the roundhouse, let's do the front kick. So now we're more in a boxer style stance. Front kick, here's the jab, there's the reverse punch, or you can throw it across. So probably we are, here, <laughs> ah. can't make the noises. <laughs> right, so I'm bouncing around, I might slide this foot in. He still adjusted, but it didn't matter, right? So I bring myself closer. Right. And I can also do that with that roundhouse, but here's the ball of the foot. That adjustment still could be here. I think that's pretty good doing that stuff. It's, it's stuff I've done without thought. Now I'm right. putting on video. Right. We used to be real generic with it. You know, doing it this way, just generic with it. But now we're moving the footwork. I never really taught it that way too much for a couple reasons. One is we keep it basic, get them to learn to move. Right. But then as I got older and more seasoned, I started realizing that we need to use some footwork when we do these drills like this. 
And if you're moving around in a fight, sparring, you're not. It, it, to me, it's an unadvertised. You don't even see it coming because yeah. you're so yeah, you be so quick at it. Right, right. What right. is it? Uh, Jerry Roberts, one of the greatest point fighters I've known personally. He was doing a seminar, and he was talking about this. Like get a stance, right? Where he goes, who who's fast? He goes, Roger, you're fast. He goes, put your hand like this. Okay. He goes, or right here, and he says to block it. I go to block it. He's like, cool. Then he starts doing this. He goes, block it, and he starts hitting me. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because <laughs> he's like already in motion. But that's the thing is, it's harder for me to judge when you're going to hit me when you're already in, right, right. It's already mm -hmm. in motion. It's easier to go faster from that point. All right, so let's go over this really quick. Front kick, jab, cross. That's the new one. Let's do the other side. Front kick, jab, cross. Now, we're more like this, right? Step over there. There's that front kick, jab, cross. He walked into that zone. Okay, so from here, step over that way. I can walk, I can catch you on your way. Yeah. If you move too <laughs> fast, right, move right. faster. Fall the foot, or I could just turn the front kick this way. <laughs> or side kick. Yeah. Like here, go ahead, step over here, side kick, still work. So it's where they're at is deciding what you're going to do. Right. I think that's pretty good stuff. Right. And I know it's coming, so I can perceive where to block, but if yeah. I don't know it's coming, I'm probably going to get tagged pretty good. Yeah, so, that's right. Yeah. Do you have any words of wisdom? Yes. Pursue God. <laughs> Love with all your heart. That's a good word of wisdom. <laughs> One of the students here, and he's become a friend of mine, Greg Napoli, says, the day isn't over until the day is over. I was like, you're so silly. So I decided I'll put that on, and I know you're going to be watching it, Greg, so... <laughs> Right, right. But that's it. There's the wisdom. The days are over, so the day is over. And then pursue God is the most important thing. You know, pursue Him. A lot of people don't believe in Jesus, don't believe in God. But, you know, go look outside. See the amazing things that are out there. It's just mind-blowing. How can a seed, say an apple seed, you plant that, it doesn't become a, just an apple tree. It becomes an orchard. Yeah. Because you plant that and you get apples on the tree. Then you plant those seeds and you get more trees. You have a whole orchard from one seed. Okay, for some of you guys are like, well, I planted seeds before and they didn't always go. Well, the apple has more than one seed. For that reason, because not all seeds are going to be good. Right. That's just like us. Think about it. Mm -hmm. you, you ever hear that term, a bad, bad seed? seed. Yeah. Well, that's how people are. Sometimes it's just a bad seed. Mm -hmm. But they weren't always that bad. Sometimes we get turned that way because of what life throws at us. So that's why it's so important to pursue God. Amen. All right, so if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Come on, subscribe. God bless.